So today, today we're doing something a little different with the release of the new iOS, iPad OS, Mac OS, and that's in regards to the new 13.4, which is on your iPad and iOS, and on your Mac, it's Catalina 10.15.4. So as you can see here on this machine right here. And, and the big thing that we're gonna talk about and to show you how to do today is for those of us that actually use iCloud. So if you're an iCloud user, one of the biggest things in the past was that iCloud really was for yourself. So being able to share your files between your devices, but never really to be able to share things with other people. So we couldn't actually use that storage and have other people be able to have access to the files in it, but that's changed. So we're gonna take a look at how that works and how to set it up right now. Okay, my friends, so outside of the new trackpad feature that came out with iPad OS, one of the coolest features, at least for me, is that ability to share files from your iCloud drive to other iCloud users. So being able to share files that you and I would store to other people. Because previous to the new versions of iOS and Mac OS and iPad OS, this really wasn't possible and we needed to go out and have a, another cloud service, for instance, like Dropbox or Google Drive or something like that, to be able to do that. But now this feature is kind of available. So on the Mac, and you can see the Mac here, I'm just gonna take a folder here that's got some stuff in it. And I think I have one that's, I'll just do a search for certificates, motorcycle certificates. So here's one. So motorcycle certificate. So I'm gonna click on this and you'll actually see when you right click on it or secondary click or whatever you wanna call it, you'll actually see this area in here called share and inside share, you'll see add people. And that add people allows you to add a user to this group. Now, if you do this on a Mac, what happens is it comes up and you can do a mail message, copy link or airdrop. Share allows you to same thing. Do you want that person to only be the person that has access to it or do you want them to be able to share that link out as well and anybody who has this link can look at this file that one you want to really enter with a little bit of caution right anyone with the link then you have this permission so is this person or the people that have this link able to make changes to the files inside it or are they only able to view the file so for me uh, because i'm sending it to myself i want them to be able to make changes and I only want people that I invite. So we're gonna do mail for now. So we're gonna do mail. Actually, before we do that, I'm gonna show you how to do it on the iPad. So this is the same kind of idea if you had it with an iPad or had it with an iPhone. So basically same idea, but in here, you're gonna to go to the files application. So the files app is this guy down here and you bring this up and same idea. If I wanted to share some things, let's say I wanted to share that I have a health and safety app here. I'm gonna long click on it and when it comes up, you're gonna see that share. Now, once you click share, you'll actually see again, there's this add people. So when we tap on that add people, this is gonna come up here and allow you kind of the same as it had on the Mac, the messages, mail, Facebook, Messenger, how do you wanna send it, right? Copy a link, a bit more options actually, Twitter because of all the social media stuff that we have on here. Uh, share options, so being able to come in here, again, anybody with the link, only people you invite, are they able to make changes? Are they not able to make changes? So I'm gonna say the defaults are good. And now we could figure it out on either device and it would share that. So on here, I'm gonna do a mail. So back to the Mac, I'm gonna do mail. We're gonna share this and I'm actually gonna share it out to an account that's two accounts. One that is actually my own account so that it, it is a, an actual iCloud account, but it's gonna be on a Windows computer. So I'll send that to myself, as well as I'm gonna send it to an account that is not associated with an iCloud account, but iCloud is on that computer. So we'll see. So here it is, open my shared folder, boom, boom, boom. And I have a feeling that it shouldn't matter if the account is necessarily associated, but as long as there is an account maybe on it, I, I don't know, we'll, we'll find out in a second. So we're gonna send this. Okay, so send, off it goes, you see, motorcycle certificates, off it goes. Well, now, the other thing is, once you do that, of course, the cloud surface has to set all this up. Now, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna bring up my camera on my iPhone here, 
and because I don't have screen capture of this this fine machine we're gonna try to do this one-handedly so inside here I'm gonna open up mail so I should be able to just open up any mail so if we come down here mail M A my ability to spell is pretty good mail and we're gonna open up the default mail application on the win on Windows and I have both those accounts set up so I have my Gmail account set up and I have my iCloud account set up and that invitation should have been sent to both hopefully so we shall see here and we'll check the Gmail one first and da, 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 da. there it is click open my shared folder so I can be like yeah click or tap to follow link okay and this is going to the Gmail one I believe so we're gonna click that and I think really all it's doing is is it's checking to make sure that your email was one that was specified as one that's agreeable but we'll find out. If not, it may come up here and ask me to create an iCloud account, so we'll see. And yes, my computer's slow. Oh no, look, there it is, shared with me. So even with an account that doesn't actually have an iCloud account associated to it, it comes up just fine and I have access to it, because really it's just granting permission. So. Just realize that it is taking you online to the sender's iCloud account, which now has that area kind of roped off for you. So because of that, I have that ability to come in here and double click. And there it is. Now I can take this and download and save it and do whatever. So that works really cool. And of course, on my Apple account, which is here, my Mac one. See if I can refresh this. This may take a little bit of time because it's barely ever been opened on this computer. Yeah, it's going to take a while, so I'm not even going to bother with that one. So, but that works good. On the Mac side, as long as you have it updated, so I would believe you would require the newest operating system. What happens is I sent it from this machine, and if I came to this machine, there it is, Great Tube Motorcycle Certificate, tap on that retrieving and voila nice and simple so super simple between the mac of course it's it's really nice super fast it just syncs with each other super quickly which you would expect going from mac to mac and icloud being apple based so they all just kind of tie in but that's a nice feature to know that you do have that ability to send it to someone that's not an apple user or not an icloud user and they're on windows works great just make sure that they realize that the sharing feature is not quite as integrated on the Windows, but they'll have to download the file and, and work from there. So, but very cool. It's a very cool feature that has been implemented into the most recent versions of Catalina, as well as in iOS and iPadOS. All right, guys, little training thing for those of you that are Apple users or have friends and colleagues that are Apple users, because even if you are someone that is strictly Windows based, you now have the ability for your friends and colleagues to be able to share files to you without being like, I don't, I don't know how you're going to get it to us. Because I know for me, I share a lot of files to people I work for, do freelance work for. Now I can put those videos and files in a folder on my iCloud drive because I actually have two terabytes of iCloud drive and share that with them and they can download those files and it makes it just super simple. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you there. I uh, hope this was useful because I do think it's a feature that not a lot of us are talking about because uh, the trackpad trackpad feature on the iPad has taken all the, the, the spotlight. But I think this is super useful. All right, my friends, I'm going to leave you there. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Subscribe, hit the bell, notify, get all these cool things, and uh, we'll see you again tomorrow. Later, my friends.
normally you can hear her breathing. She's like, <laughs> Oh, Lex. Poor Chunkasaurus. Poor Chunkasaurus. Okay, we're gonna continue. <laughs> That's Lex.